Governor Northam has lived his entire adult life in the service of others. First as a medical doctor in the United States Army taking care of injured servicemen and women, and then later as a pediatric neurologist taking care of children, and now today as a public servant serving as the 73rd governor of the Commonwealth of Virginia. I would say he's a very good-natured and empathetic person. Like, no matter who he's with or what setting he's in, he finds a way to relate with people and kind of figure out what's important to them and how he can best help them with whatever he's doing. The way he was raised was that every person deserved to be treated equally. And you saw that in their care for their community and for everyone in their community and everyone caring for them. I teach uh, students and residents at the medical school, and I always encourage them to work hard but to also enjoy what they're doing. Life is short, so we need to take every day like it's a good day and see what we can do to help other people to make you know, our society a little bit better today than it was yesterday. And then to always remember where you came from, remember your roots, remember your family, and remember your relationships, because at the end of the day, that's what will be most important. As a pediatric neurologist who spent his entire professional life caring for children, he certainly understands the compassion and the empathy that's required to be an outstanding physician. And he also, from a policy standpoint, really understands healthcare. So I think he has both perspectives, somebody who really understands healthcare and someone who's been um, at the bedside taking care of um, young children. People often joke that like his resume is perfect for any politician, but if anything, it shows like the values we want in our leaders and just people in general. You know, I've always really enjoyed helping other people and especially people that are less fortunate than me. I mean, I've worked hard all of my life, but I've, I've been blessed. And, and so if I can get up in the morning and, and know that I can go out there and help someone, whether it be a child that's sick or, or coming here to Richmond and, and helping with legislation that, that makes things better for uh, all Virginians, that's what makes me happy. We are so appreciative for the many people that make William & Mary the top-rated university that is today. What a legacy. What a grand history. We are so appreciative as a Commonwealth for what William & Mary does.